Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Alienware laptop. This one is an Alienware M15R2 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery, internal battery for this one. If yours is not holding up any more charge and you just simply want to replace it before selling it or any other reason. In this video I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can do that. Also by removing your battery you're not gonna be doing any other configuration to the system or you're not going to lose any files or any anything like that. So let's keep this video short and let's get it started. First thing first, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to close up the screen. You want to flip it upside down. And I'm going to show you the tool that I'll be using. The link for this tool that I use, everything is in the video description. I'll be using a screwdriver set. The iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel and they will last you many years. You're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with this on, on a hand, you're gonna start removing the screws from the bottom case. So just rotate. And if you start from one corner, the screws, they have a little C-lock, so it will not come entirely out. So you just have to rotate them and it will push the cover away from its uh, bottom palm rest. So do this to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to your own service and replacing parts, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. The screws on the back, they do actually come out. so. This one came out, there's no C-lock on them. So these two, are, there's no C-lock, but this one has a C-lock. So the front and mid ones, they do have a C-lock. The back ones, they don't have a C-lock on them. And the C-lock, what it does when you try to open it, it will open a little gap right here between the, pushes the cover away from there. So it's easy for you to stick the guitar pick in there and just twist it. So you want to put the guitar pick twisted and lift up the bottom cover and bring it over. And there we have it. So the battery will be just right in front of you. And then there's a, this cable that goes from here to here. To remove the battery, first we're gonna pull this cable backward, straight, bring it back. But if you don't wanna pull on it, you can use the screwdriver, stick it right in between here and help it out to slide it back towards yourself. Just slide this way back, bring it straight. Now to remove the battery, we're gonna remove this screw, this one, and they screw right away here. Also, the battery is an extended battery, so there's one, two, three, four, five cells. So you gotta remove this side too. So remove it's a big huge battery. So remove the screw on that side too. And there's a screw right right under the cover here. And there we have it. Now that we removed, there should be a screw right over here too. There's a hidden screw right there. And this one is a same screw. All right, now that we removed the screws, I'm sure, okay, the battery actually goes right under the SSD. These are like a RAID SSD right in here. These are 256, 256. You're gonna remove it by removing one screw on each. Pretty much we have to remove the SSDs. Okay, remove two screws for the SSDs, lift up the SSD and pull it back. And the SSD will come. These are short SSDs. Okay, the screw is a little loose, so you can tighten up the screw in here. Put this one there, the same thing here. Lift it up and pull back. Kind of hard to pull back, but yeah. Remove these two SSDs. Now we can lift up the battery and bring it forward. So there's the battery. This is a humongous battery because there's a, actually one cell right here. This one is actually a little blown up. So you can see it's like a little spongy. That means that you have to change it. So one, two, three, four, five, and one cell at the back because it's kind of step right here. So there's a six cell battery actually in here. Once you get the new battery, make sure it's a 76 watt hour battery. 
the model number for this one is an Y9M6F. I'll try to get the link for new batteries. Remember, once you purchase your battery, it's not going to come with an extra with the cable in here. So you have to detach the cable from here. Again, same way. Put the screwdriver right there and push it backward. It becomes really tough. So you have to pull this one out. So the same thing, you have to kind of widget it right there. There. So you need this cable from here to get a new battery. Let's imagine that you got the new one in. All you need to do is that it says positive, negative right there on the plastic. The positive is the uh, red and the negative it's the black cable. So make sure it comes right and it straight goes right into it. Uh, evenly has to go all the way in. Once the battery is cable is right there, you want to put the bottom end of the battery right inside the palm rest and bring it down, set it down, grab your SSDs and slide them right through the jack in there. Make sure it has to go all the way in and bring it down. Make sure the screw holes has to match. If the screw holes don't match, that means it's not in its place. There's a little cut in here, so it will only go in one way. There's a little a slot right there it has to go through that slot right there so i'm gonna bring it down like landing a plane in 45 degree right through there and push it and align it and put the two screws right on the ssds all right once you put this one in you can start putting all the screws that you remove from the battery remember the screw that you only removed you don't have to put the screw in the corners back here that goes from the bottom case so only put the screws from the this side right here and the top row and the single screw right in the mid back here all right, once you put the new battery in, and it's very important, you want to bring this jack straight in. Don't put it sideways, it's straight into the connector and push it all the way in. And just adjust the cable right in here, put it right in there. And the last thing would be to put the bottom cover. Remember the bottom cover has to slide the back end. You want to slide that one in there first and then bring it down. And then start tightening up the screws and the screw is going to pull the cover back to itself. Also, it's really important how you're going to charge your battery for the first time, for a couple of times. And it's very, very important if you want your battery to last you longer. So what you want to do before you power on, you want to leave it for charging for at least, I would say, five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to power off the laptop. Uh, I mean, yeah, you want to disconnect the charger. You want to power it on with the battery only. And you don't want to put any hard games or anything like that. Just put any video or something like that, light load, and let it drain the battery down to zero. Once the battery is drained, you want to power it off. Again, leave it on an off state for five to six hours for it to charge completely. And after that, you can use it as you wish. So pretty much what you need, you need to charge and discharge it slowly for a couple of times. So the battery, it gets to know its max and low limits and that should be all for this video if you guys have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video